At the start of the movie, all of the high school students were celebrating their graduation, and many of them were looking forward to starting college soon. Another student who wants to go to college is a young man named Bartleby Gaines, who is better known as BB is a student who is very interested in computers and wants to study computer-related subjects in high school. He and his best friend Sherman Schrader, who is a computer genius, use their skills to make fake ID cards. Even though he is good at computers, he has not been accepted to any of the universities he has applied to. Schrader and his female friend Monica Moreland were both accepted to Harmony University, one of the most prestigious schools in the city. However, B's parents told him to find a school that would take him as soon as they found out that he had been turned down by every school in the city. B and his parents go to Schrader's graduation party, where B's father says that he has given up on B's. This makes the situation even worse. Future hearing this, who was confused by his parents' pressure and came up with a crazy idea to solve his problem. So that his parents will stop bothering him, he decides to fake an acceptance letter from a fake university. He makes a fake acceptance letter from the South Harmony Technology Institute and sends it to his parents to make his story seem more real. So his parents wouldn't think he was lying. He asked Schrader to help him make a fake website about the fake university. After B's friend Darrell Han read his convincing fake acceptance letter, he asked B to make the same letter for him. This is because Darrell's injury was so bad that he lost his football scholarship and had to apply to another school. This means that Darrell's request should be turned down. But he had to in order to help Darrell, who was in trouble. He tells Darrell that the fake letter of acceptance to college is only a short-term fix until they can find another way to convince their parents. After spending several hours in front of the computer, Schrader finally made a fake website that gives a profile of the made-up school. B's father got the fake letter the next day and told him right away that he was accepted. When his parents found out that he had been accepted to A, they were happy and proud. His father went straight to B and gave him money to pay for tuition at the school where he would later study. B was so surprised and stressed out when he got the money that he immediately thought of looking for a place that could be used as a University South Harmony Technology Institute campus to make it look real. A few days later, B and Schrader were looking for a good place for their made-up campus when they ran into an old classmate named Rory. After not getting into several colleges in their city, Rory finds out that she has the same problem as her. So she decides to go along with his plan and help him find a good place. Rory then takes B and Schrader to an old, long, empty building that used to be a mental hospital but has been closed for a long time. B was sure that the building would work for their made-up college. With the help of his friend, Glenn B went through and checked out all of the rooms. Then, he and his three other friends started cleaning the whole room and yard. He also chose to go to South Harmony Technology Institute because he hadn't signed up for college yet. They got to work right away by sweeping, squeezing, painting, and putting the name of the campus institution on the main door. After he cleaned and rearranged the room, his father called and told him he wanted to meet with the dean on his campus to make sure he did well. B tries hard to come up with reasons why his father shouldn't come to his campus, but his father keeps pushing him, so he has to find someone else to be the dean of his campus. Soon after, Daryl suggests that he and Schrader meet with Uncle Ben, a former professor who hasn't been in school for a long time. They also plan to pay Uncle Ben a lot of money for being dean of the college. He turned down the invitation at first because he was tired of the country's education system. However, since he had just been fired, he decided to go because he had nothing to lose. The next day, Rory and Darrell asked their friends to come to South Harmony Tech and pretend to be teachers or students. When B's parents and sister visit campus, they will be able to convince the B family that the campus is real. His parents were becoming more and more sure that the campus was a real one. After taking B to the campus dorm and meeting Uncle Ben, who was pretending to be Dean Lewis Dean, his sister, Liz, still doesn't believe B and thinks the campus is A. B and his friend decided to play video games together on campus as a way to relax after the crisis. Abernathy Darwin, a young man who said he had been accepted into the campus, came up to him while they were playing. At first, he was going to tell Darwin that the campus wasn't real, but he changed his mind when Darwin said that hundreds of other new students were waiting in front of the campus. When all of the new students came to South Harmony Technology Institute, campus building Beacon could only stay quiet and still. Schrader's fake website lets anyone become a student without any kind of selection process. This means that a lot of people can apply to the campus. Schrader, Daryl, and I were all surprised by what happened because the fake campus was supposed to be a secret place they built to solve their problems. But now, the fake campus is giving them all new problems, and after a short talk, they need to find a solution right away. B. They all agreed to tell all the new students that the campus didn't exist. When we talked to the new students, he surprised us by saying that he was determined to make the campus a place where they could all reach their goals. Some say that the South Harmony Technology Institute campus gives people who wanted to keep studying but couldn't get into a university a second chance. When Daryl, Rory, and Schrader heard what he said, they were confused and asked him right away what he meant. He said that he couldn't tell all the students the truth about the fake campus because he couldn't stand the thought of breaking their hearts. B wants to set up a campus for the South Harmony Technology Institute. He plans to do this by looking at how other campuses work. 
He will use the money paid by students to register to build campus facilities and infrastructure. He will also visit other campuses to learn about their academic programs. He even took a few classes at Harmony University and asked Monica about her time there. B, on the other hand, decided to make his own curriculum on the campus of the South Harmony Technology Institute because it was the same at other universities. Students' interests and skills will not be limited by the campus. Each student is free to be creative and join clubs that interest them based on their interests or hobbies. Ambrose, who was in charge of a committee at Harmony University, went to the B campus one day to talk to the landowner. Ambrose wants to buy the land and building, but he doesn't know about the made-up campus. Not long after Amber left, Rory ran up to me in a panic and told me that Lizzie already knew about their fake campus and was going to tell his parents. B knows this, so he tries to get Lizzie to keep the secret from their parents until he figures out what to do. When she hears this, she agrees to keep the secret as long as he makes her a fake ID card so she can go to a party at a nightclub. Because of this, B had to agree to her request that she not tell their parents the truth about the fake campus. A few days later, Monica went back to B's campus to meet him and give back the camera she had borrowed the day before. She seemed surprised to find out that the curriculum and academic system on his campus were very open and valued. The creativity of each student. Monica didn't know that the campus was made up, so she just stared at him. The next night, he got into the campus. The South Harmony Technology Institute campus put on a musical show so that first-year students could show off their musical skills while also having fun. Harmony University also had its campus anniversary at the same time, but most of its students went to the South Harmony Technology Institute campus. When one of the female students told Ambrose and his friend that the other students were having a party, he and his friend went to the South Harmony Technology Institute campus to stop the party. When Ambrose and his friends got to the scene, luckily, Schrader saw them and told B because of this, B and the other people on campus kicked them. Ambrose and his friends are going to talk to Schrader about the South Harmony Technology Institute campus the next day. To get Schrader to agree, they pretend to invite him to a brotherhood party. When Schrader went to Ambrose's house, Ambrose and his friends took him into custody and forced him to say where the South Harmony Technology Institute campus was. When I go to Schrader's dorm room a few days later, I find him covered in cuts from when Ambrose picked on him. Ambrose has taken his laptop, which has all of the emails and website information for their school. He tells me that what he was afraid of happened in the end. The parents or guardians of the students at South Harmony Technology Institute came to campus because Ambrose sent an email to all the guardians inviting them to the parents. Not only that, but Ambrose went to the Board of Education and told them about the false profile of the university's South Harmony Technology Institute threatening the campus's dismay. When the dean said that the campus was a fake, all of the guardians, including B's parents, looked sad and left. A few days later, when B goes back to the campus building of the South Harmony Technology Institute to look around. He finds a letter from the Education Service inviting him to a trial that will decide what will happen to the South Harmony Technology Institute. After reading the letter, he went to his friends and asked for help saving their campus. The trial will give them a great chance to show the Board of Education that the South Harmony Technology Institute campus is qualified to run and get official permission to do so. When Schrader and the others heard what he had to say, they agreed to help him save the campus. All of the South Harmony Technology Institutes were built with their help. On the day of the trial, students came to support, be, and save their school. Also, his parents showed up at the trial to support him, even though they had always asked them not to. At the start of the trial, the prosecution backed us into a corner by saying that the South Harmony Technology Institute campus didn't have a standard curriculum or the right academic accreditation and should be closed down because of this. The campus also lacks basic things like a library, enough teachers, and a good place to do research. B, on the other hand, tries to convince the school board that the campus can help a lot of students who want to keep studying and reach their goals. He puts up a board with all of the students' dreams to show that everyone on campus should have a chance. The council, on the other hand, didn't agree with the argument, and the trial quickly got out of hand because Dean Lewis was out of control. Temper should explain that on the campus of the South Harmony Technology Institute, all students could use their skills and follow their interests without being limited by America's strict education. Every student on that campus has the only chance to be creative or come up with something new, which is the ultimate goal of education in the United States. After B's powerful speech, the Board of Education saw that the South Harmony Technology Institute campus and its students had a lot of potential. They decided to give the campus a chance. After giving it a lot of thought, the councils agreed and gave the campus official permission to run under trial accreditation for one year. Congratulations! The decision seemed to make everyone happy, and B's parents were very proud of what their son had done. The South Harmony Technology Institute campus is finally back up and running, and it's getting better and more stable as it grows.